and what's up everybody welcome back to the channel it is your boy cheap ludes and i am back <laughs> with another pack opening you can hear the borderline psychotic excitement in my voice because we got flash super packs yay all right so we're gonna open some of these i'm not really too excited about it um because i just know 2k and i'm not about to have any fun whatsoever hey bonuses they upped the pack percentage in all-star pantheon packs at the end so i will talk about that uh yeah so we got all the comic book cards again are in here for whatever reason this juan carlos navarro is nice by the way uh he's basically updated Dwayne wade they're about the same size they have the same sigs everything so all the cards from the flash set are in here all the hero cards we got another shot at Dark Matter Zion, etc. <laughs> it doesn't matter. I won't pull them anyway. But all of these rubies are in here. Uh, I say we go for the tenor, right? Let's do it. Let's get a ten out of the way right now. See what happens. I mean, I don't know, dude. I don't really have much uh, hope in these super packs. I think I've done like two or three super pack openings this season, and like nothing has come from it. Oh, we got Markel Fultz. That's what I'm talking about. He said sarcastically. I got two ugly-ass Adidas, Tom Thibodeau, and a Ruby. That's that's ideal. Yep. Richie Guerin. Okay. Great. Super duper fun. Alright, Nick Anderson. Once again, super sick. Like, exactly what I wanted to see. Uh, yeah, okay. Lou Dort, yep. Lou Dort sells for a little bit, though. Um, just because there's no Thunder players, and people need the Thunder for, like, three of the Spotlight Sims. So, you know, it is what it is on the Lou Dort front. It could be much, much worse. Tom Gugliotta, that's my guy right there. He should sell for 4K because he has three barbed wire tattoos alone. Like, that's my thought. Wow. Alright, so we went that entire 10 box without getting over an Amethyst, which... Not gonna lie, that hurts. Like, that definitely hurts. A lot. Um, especially in guaranteed super packs. I think Tom... Tom Thibodeau. Jesus Christ. Uh, Alright, well... There's a lot more where that came from. Do not get me wrong. We're about to have a rough, rough time. That is for sure. Um... I was thinking about doing just three tens, but I really just don't trust the ten. I probably shouldn't even do the twenty. That was that's a mistake, but it is what it is. All right, bless me. He said sarcastically. All right, Tobias Harris. Yep, yep. I was about to say I love when YouTubers go on here and they're like, "Bless me, two K." Like, no, two K doesn't bless anyone, dude. Unless you work for them, then they bless you. JB Bakerstaff, let's go. You knew it. You knew it was coming. I think I've already got him, but it's fine. <sighs> I need a Galaxy Opal JB Bakerstaff, which gives like plus six to, I don't know, defensive IQ or something. Yeah, okay, this is pretty bad. This is really, really bad. I don't think any of these cards are even going for anything. Um, I'm get I think there's challenges associated with the flash packs, because usually when they drop a super pack, they have like a. Uh, XP challenges, but I don't think it's going to raise many of their prices, just because there's so many flash cards, and they're all so cheap. I think Kyle Korver was really the only one that was going for like a lot that was under a diamond. Um, even the diamonds were cheap. Yeah, these are bad. I'm 21 packs in, and I have yet to get over an Amethyst. Yeah, so my advice would be to not open these. Like, I'm not even going to finish the pack opening before telling you that. I'm 23 packs in and haven't gotten over an Amethyst. That being said, I did get uh, Marcus Gasol. Uh, so that's one part of the Ricky Rubio lock-in. Because, yes, once again, they did do that lock-in thing where they put one card, or the cards in Super Packs and the cards in TTO. I don't even know if I pulled Juan Herman Gomez because I haven't been paying attention. Finally. Okay. Dallas Mavericks jersey. Could it be Hero Luca? It's not. <sighs> All right, so 27 packs, and the only thing I have to show for it is a diamond, and I don't even know who it's going to be. 
Eastern Conference 93, 10. Who is this? Shooting guard. Oh my god, it's DeRozan. <sighs> I guess the only positive thing I can say about that is I don't really have too many cards from Flash 3. So if the challenges are split into flashes, like that helps me, but that's it. That's the only positive spin I can put on that that pull. That was atrocious. Um Wow. Just a big wow. 30 packs, one diamond. What what is super about these packs? <laughs> I don't oh my god. Ah, and then we got one JB Bickerstaff too. That's crazy. Like, that's nuts. Usually it's at least five by this point. That's what you can tell. A pack is really trash. And not even one Jalen LeCue. Mm -mm. These packs are garbage. Please don't buy them. Uh, once that being said, might as well open three more. Can't get much worse, right? I mean, it can. And it probably will, more than likely. Brian Saunders. God, Jesus. All right. Robert Pack. I can't even fit him in here. Yeah, let's get rid of him. It's fine. He'll be going for like not very much, you know. So I guess it doesn't really matter. Um, let's see. Yeah, let's just get rid of it. It doesn't. It, obviously, it doesn't matter. I I shouldn't open two more, but I'm gonna. I just want like a pink diamond or something, just to make myself feel better. Here we go. Something. God damn. All right. It's got demonetized. I don't care. That's a diamond. Oh my god, dude. You're kidding me right now. It's really like that, huh? Is this glitch John Stockton? Dude, come on. Man, I have like three of the pink diamond ones, dude. Like, I really don't want that or need it at this point. This is, this is, oh, this is bad. This is so bad. All right, so I'm going to move on from the super packs now. Um, after I open this last one. And we're going to try out the new Pantheon pack luck. Because they did raise the pack odds, but I mean... 2k pack odds are fake as they are, so it doesn't really matter. Quick Sons, Bud Web, I honestly don't care at this point. <sighs> Such a rough pack opening. Such a rough day for me as far as uh, packs right now. It's not really too fun. Um, <laughs> I'll be honest, it sucks. But, you know what? It is what it is, so... <sighs> don't open the Flash Super Packs. Like, I know they're, I know they're tempting and whatnot, but... I highly recommend just not going for these whatsoever the realistic likelihood of what you're gonna pull is you're gonna end up spending your vc pulling what i just pulled which was probably 20 to 21 amethyst and rubies and then maybe like one diamond or above possibly so as you can see they did raise the percentages on pantheon um Potentially they did it yesterday because I didn't check it, but I did want to make it known that they did raise them. So, oh, I see what they did. They raised them to the point where it makes, <laughs> they raised the uh, guaranteed packs up way more and only the non-guaranteed up by like one or 2%. I don't think it makes much of a difference and I will show you how it doesn't make a difference real quick. Uh, yeah, I got Steven Adams, so I don't think it makes much of a difference, but like I said, I'm going to open a couple more probably just to show you that I, I know they raised it by a few percent and I'm sure over the span of 40 or 50 packs, maybe it makes a difference. Maybe you get like one more pink diamond pull in a 10 box or something, but yeah, Tim Legler, my old friend. Okay. See, as you can see, like, I mean, it's not really doing much. I mean, like, if I opened two packs and I pulled, like, an Opal, then I'd be like, okay, well, maybe test your luck, but I think at this point, it's probably the same as it was yesterday. Like I said, there's probably just an increased chance that you get Desmond Mason or, like, Anthony Simons, like, if those are cards you're after, but both of those cards are less expensive than a single guaranteed pack anyway. So I don't really think it 
makes any sense to open these packs anymore. Like, if there's a specific card that's pink diamond or lower that you're looking for, just go buy it on the marketplace because every single one of them is cheaper than a guaranteed pack at 17,000. Uh, the only cards that are more expensive are the opals. That's it. And obviously the dark matters. So, but, I mean, look, every time you open a guaranteed pack, like, you're spending 17000 to basically just get Spud Webb or Tim Legler. Like, maybe Dwight Howard at the absolute most. But every card from this set, besides the Opals and stuff, is under $17,000. Uh, that's why I hate guaranteed packs so much. Uh, the main reason is, is A, they jit people off like crazy because they're way more expensive. B, you have, like, the same chance of pulling an Opal through guaranteed packs as you do, like non-guaranteed packs i honestly think it's worse in my opinion and then the cards from the set end up being so ridiculously cheap because the odds are so bad that you can't even regain any of your mt if you open them so that i hate guaranteed packs if there was one thing that i wish 2k would get rid of it's guaranteed packs it's not even close I mean, yes, they're predatory business practices, of course, but I understand that's just how the video game industry works, and that's how you make money now. And that's okay. If they were more upfront and more fluid about it, it would be a different story. If you know, They made it so people would want to support the game as opposed to people need to support the game because they don't have a choice. Um, that would be the other issue. But I will say 2K is doing a good job of giving out a lot of nice free content this year, so maybe they're turning a corner. We don't really know. I mean, they do get slandered on a daily basis, so. We're not really seeing a price difference. I'm, I think not a single James Harden has been pulled. I mean, it's 1017, so. Uh, yeah, a couple Dirks have been pulled. Uh, Juan Carlos Navarro. He should actually be... It's unfortunate because I know there's going to be a couple creators that make hype videos because they're like, oh my, Juan Carlos Navarro is just is incredible. He's one of the best point guards in the game or whatever. And then sit there and tell you not to rip packs or whatever, which is like such a weird double negative. But anyways, he should be incredibly cheap. He should be under 100k, but he won't be. He'll end up being over 100k for a couple days, but then he'll drop down. He's basically a Dwayne Wade clone. He's honestly better opal wade it, that's what i can tell so far uh, he plays excellent defense he dunks he has the same wade based jump shot um, on quick he's gonna be really good and i want him badly but hey if you're a big john stockton fan this week has been great for you because every john stockton card has just been stupid cheap but hey if you're a newer player and Honestly, John Stockton's not even any more cheap than the Pink Diamond one. The Pink Diamond one's like 15, 15k. I'm just gonna sell him, and get him out of the way. I'll never sell Monte. That being said, if you are interested in Dino or Monte, God, their prices are low right now. All these guys should be low as well. Like, let's see if a lot of Hakeem's have dropped. I'm guessing him and Juan Carlos Navarro will be the easiest to pull opal. Uh, same with Jimmy. I'm guessing those opals will be the easiest to pull out. Yeah, I mean, there's already a lot of Jimmys out. I'm wondering where all these Jimmy Butlers keep coming from, because I swear, there's always consistently, like, 50, 40 to 50 Jimmy Butlers out, up on the marketplace. I don't know if people are just, like, swapping Jimmy Butlers or, like, what's happening. But consistently, there's always Jimmy Butlers up. I think people finally just run out of MT and are like, ah, yeah, I gotta sell Jimmy. Giannis should be cheaper if you're a big Giannis guy. Um... He's gonna. He's the same price as the retro one. Just go by the retro one. All of these diamond guys are gonna be cheaper. Um, you're gonna see some cards prices rise, um, and I will go into a whole market video and talk about why that is. So we'll see that. Just realize there's no diamond set. Uh, Marcus Saul. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know about the lock in for Ricky Rubio, um, mainly because. I think Marcus Saul and Herman Gomez are actually pretty cool, and I actually kind of need them for Spotlight Sims, so I don't know if I'm going to... I would have to look and see what team Rubio is. Like, what, what Rubio are we talking here? T-Wolves Rubio? Yeah, I don't know about that. But Herman Gomez actually looks really, really good. Let me tell you why. 
he's basically like a six foot nine wing that plays good defense and has Ray Allen jump shot. Like the best way I can describe him is he's way, 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 way better um, Lafonso Ellis. Like that's that basically what I can say about him. No finishing badges, though. My man does not attack the rim in any way, shape, or form. He can dribble a little bit, though. They didn't give Brandon Ingram unpluckable, but they gave Juan Herman Gomez unpluckable. Okay. And most importantly, he's a Nuggets player, and there's, like, not very many, like, people who can play the power forward for the Nuggets besides, like, Michael Carter-Williams and Lafonso Ellis. So, either way, as always, it's been your boy Cheap Ludes bring you another disappointing pack opening please guys do not open these packs they're awful like they're so bad i i cannot tell you how bad of a time you're about to have oh yeah we got a free jose calderon uh, if you beat this challenge which is cool but anyways i will be back later with my center tier list and a, another market video so i'll have three videos out today so definitely check those out check the description for all my stuff if you want to support the channel i do have a patreon I also have a podcast. We're recording it this week, so check that out.